<laughs> race one. Dude, I'm nervous. Why am I nervous? Can anyone tell me why I'm nervous? Okay, I'm nervous. Okay. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go! All right, so they do have the countdown and the go. And there they go. There's obviously gonna be a little mild delay, but not a big deal. So the way the tournament worked for race one, guys, round one, I seated all the runners up against each other based on their PBs. So the both of these runners have very similar PBs. They are both grinding down to try and get a 51 minute time in Warpless, which neither of them have. So they are perfect against each other. Neither runner has a 51 and they're both only a couple seconds away. All right, Zone getting a movement of one. No, he got a movement of two. Narfman gets a movement of one. Or they both got a movement of two. Right on, getting early P speed in one, two for Zone, but not for Narfman. You guys can actually see how big of a difference uh, these early P speeds are in these levels. Nice. All right, these runners do not have to worry about their, uh, their cards at the end of the levels in this season, which is really nice. Ooh, Hammer Brothers are favoring zone right now. Is he gonna get the early P-Speed? He does get the early P-Speed. Narf Man as well gets the early P-Speed, but he dodges. Oh, they both dodge the Waffle. I think that's a pretty good idea, dodging the Waffle. You don't really want to go for that um, in races, because if you take damage, you have to go all the way back. It's like a marathon save. So here comes the first point in World 1. They're gonna want to get the MFP Tunnel. So get your emotes ready, guys. Let's see who can take the lead right away. Taking the damage there. Zone coming up, jump, not gonna mess up his P-Speed. No, looking good. All right, here we go. His zone, oh, I don't know if he's gonna get it. He does not get it. Does Narf Man get it? Oh, neither runner gets the MFP tunnel. Not going to be able to award them the points. All right, so, so now what we're looking for is Mushroom House. They need to get a leaf in a Mushroom House and use that same leaf in a level in World 6. It's a, it's a remembering point to see if they can remember their inventory and what they should be doing. It's a point in the run, so I don't see how they would mess it up, but you never know what happens in races, right? Anytime I'm at GDQ, I mess up World 1, Level 1 every time. Like, I always mess up the worst, so. Look at these runners, man, neck and neck right now. They both get the flower card, which is amazing for that level. They don't have to do many more uh, turnbacks, which means they can save a little bit of time. Does Zone get a leaf? Zone does not get a leaf. Narfman also getting the Fire Flower from the Hammer Brother pretty good. And Zone does not. So that's going to be a little bit of a time swing right there. Narfman, does Narfman get the leaf? Let's see if he gets the leaf here. Oh, he does get the leaf. So he has a potential point advantage as long as he doesn't forget. And Zone does not get the throne jump. And Narfman does get the throne jump. This is insane. So one throne jump for Narfman. No throne jump for zone, so he's not going to be able to capitalize on that. But he's not hes not in the weeds yet, because Narfman needs to get six more. It's a two-point swing. You have to get all the throne jumps for it to work. Right on. So Narfman did get the... Uh... Okay, so this is where it's going to be uh, a rough go at the start. So I think he has it in World 6. Yeah, there it is. World 1 Leaf right there. So... Um, he has to use it in 6-8 to get it. All right, so Zone does get his Fire Flower now. Right on. Very, very nice. This is a great first race. Neither runner gets Tunnel. Zone going for the Fire Kill. Both runners probably know a comfortable Fire Kill. Both runners, yeah. Looks like Narf Man's pretty comfy. There you go. Look at this. <laughs> wow. All right, let me just remind the runners to type dot done when they finish the race. All right. Here we go, world two. Now things start to ramp up. Don't fall in the mode of tears, get the red rocket strats. Both boomerang bros gotta move backwards. We got wild bros coming up. Got uh, Wild Bros. So 2-1 is um, probably one of the easier levels in the world, but you could definitely mess it up. Um, these runners have to make sure that they do not lose their Fire Flower in Worlds 2 or 3. That can be a nasty one. You have until World 3, though. Oh, see Narfman taking a little slow down there. Keeps P-Speed, though. 
And boom. Oh, zone with two fire flowers. Just like season two, man. If you get the fanfare right there, no, you do not want a fanfare. Oh, they're going back. Okay, here we go. Okay, he found the 10. He knows where the 10 is. Nice. And zone gets the 10. Looking at his cheat sheet. Narf man also trying to get it. Oh, zone gets an inventory star. Not going to be able to get that point. Narf man also gets an inventory star, but they do get the 10 points. Holy jumping. Oh, not fanfare. Spade game. Nice. So they both get the spade game. They both get extra inventory stuff. Very interesting. Remember, guys, I don't know any strategies. I, I did not route anything out. I did not create any strategies. So all this is new to me. Neither runner has fallen in the mode of tears. Right on. No punishment there for the mode of tears. But they did get inventory star. Let's see here. So they are not going to get the points for the no inventory star. Oh, wait, no. It's no inventory stars from world three to six. Sorry. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. They can get an inventory star in world two. Right on. So no mode of tears. So the mode of tears is a punishment. So you lose a point if you land in the mode of tears. So there's no, there's no saving points or anything like that. I mean, you save them if you don't fall in it. Um, it is crazy how close these runners are and everyone seems to have spade card strategies. Like they knew exactly what they flipped over and where they were, which is really, really interesting. All right, so he's gonna he's gonna go for the music box. Oh, and the boomerang bro moves forward. Zone is not getting the lucky RNG that he wants. All right, Narf Man is gonna go for the red rocket strategy. The goal is to simply just use the rocket at the end. Doesn't matter how fast or slow it goes, just use it. All right, and he gets it, and Zone. Looks like Zone's gonna be able to get it too. I'm gonna preemptively click, man. I know you're gonna get it, Zone. Nice, and Zone gets it. Very nice. Both runners getting that point. All right, it's going to be Narfman's turn to attack the Hammer Brothers. Let's see if he gets anything. Both bros need to move backwards for him. Some wild Hammer Brothers. Neither runner fell in the mode of tears. All right, these guys are neck and neck. Very exciting. The sun level. Ah... Uh... I feel like the sun level could have a little bit more inside of it. Yet, when we were all kids, it was like the hardest level we've all ever done. The sun is just so angry. All right, Narf Man getting the lead. And he is going to opt out to do level four. This, this could really screw him over. Oh, and Narf Man takes damage in world two. He is not going to be able to get the reward for not taking damage in world two and three. That is a you hate to see it moment. He doesn't lose a point. It's not a punishment. It would be a punishment in World 5. But it is a point game for World 2 and 3. Lucky for him. Does Boomerang Bro move back? Ooh! A Boomerang Bro moves backwards. So this could be good for him. He needs one more to move backwards. And he does get that point. That, that's a pretty nice swing for him. All right. It goes in there. That's, that's not a big deal. The Hammer Brother going in there. Zone in the Pyramid. Oof, pyramid is very difficult. A lot of duck inputs, a lot of lefts, rights, a lot of shell grabs. Um, yeah, a lot of weird things. Duck jump movements. Nice. He gets it. And it looks like Narfman also gets it. What's there? Oh, he gets the sticky hill, man. He's got to stop all of his speed, man. That it's a good thing he didn't take damage there. That can really that can really mess you up when you get that sticky hill there. Alright, so I'm just gonna fight the hammer brother. Ah, oh, neither one moved backwards for him, anyways, so. Now, Narfman, if he moves backwards, this could be great. Oh, and he does move backwards. Narfman going to get that extra point there. <clears throat> right on. Get that extra point. Nice. All right, does he? Oh, Narfman does not get the throne jump. Damn, man, that's a tough one. I wonder if runners are going to be uh, going hardcore for the throne jumps or not. That's a pretty big point swing if you get them. Uh, throne jump is a two frame window. So it's like hard, but it's not that hard. It's yeah. All right. So let's see what we got here. Move the tracker down a little bit. Let's just 
Let's show off some of these extra points we got. We got the shared point coming up, and it looks like Narfman is slightly in the lead, but he did lose Fire Flower, so he's not going to be awarded that point there, where... Well, we don't know for sure if Zone is going to be awarded that point, so this is, uh... This is very exciting. As we move on, let's, uh, everyone take a quick little drink here. What is in those crates? Bowser's little secrets. What's inside his airship crates? All right, zone. Don't take damage. <clears throat> he knows his fire kills right on. Good job. Ooh, goes for the off-screen wall grab. I like, I like. Narfman standing a little close, but also gets the fire kill. <laughs> These guys are so close to each other. This is incredible. All right, let's see. World 3 coming up. They got Door 4, Runaway Bro awards a point, and no loss of Fire Flower. And then the shared point, which is brand new this season. The person who gets it versus the person who doesn't gets the point. If they both get the jump, neither gets the point. If they both fail the jump, neither runner gets the point. All right, let's see. if So if Zone gets it and Narfman doesn't, Zone gets the point. Let's see. Oh, Zone gets it! Okay, okay. Let's see here, man. That is incredible. Does Narfman get it? Narfman does not get it. So that means Zone is awarded the point. So Narfman not getting it gave Zone the point. If Narfman got a two, neither runner would get the point. That's how the shared points work. Insane. Tied it up with 7-7 right now. All right, next thing we're looking for is door four. We had to meme it up just a little bit, guys. Ooh, Narfman, or sorry, Zone not getting the runaway bro. Or, hey man, with runaway bro, you never know. You never know with runaway bro. You kind of don't want Runaway Bro, but they do have the extra music box. Damn, look at these P-Speed strategies in 3-2. Oh my goodness. Is my Warpless record next to go? Is that all? That's all I have left, guys. Come on, you guys are killing me here. Why is everyone everyone's so good at this game? Very nice from both of our runners. Good job, man. That is not an easy strategy to do, especially not for race. Ooh, Narkman not getting the Runaway. You kind of want that runaway because you want that point, but you also don't want runaway because you want to beat your opponent in the race. It's still a race, right? Damn, these World 3s are looking nice. Yeah, these World 3s are looking nice. All right, no inventory stars. Ooh, Zone might get runaway after all. He might get runaway after all. All right, he's going for door four. Oh, he doesn't get door four. If Narfman doesn't go for door four, he will take the lead in time. Does he want to go for door four? He does want to go for door four. Oh, and he doesn't get door four either. Dang, nice try to both of our runners. A little bit of a time spill, but not too bad. Not too bad. I like to see them try it. No door four. Ooh, Narfman get a little slip up there, up the stairs. I know, I dislike that stair part a lot. Ooh, Zone cannot get that runaway, man. He's so close, right on the edge. Where's that in, like, official runs? No, always runaway. Narfman also doesn't get runaway. Is he gonna use this music box here? He is going to use this music box. Right on, congratulations. He, he wants to use that music box because he... He doesn't want to fight either Hammer Brother. He's going to take the loss and do the Fortress in World 4. Not a big deal. Zone. Also going to Music Box. He took a little slowdown. He was a little confused for a second. What am I going to do? What am I not going to do? Um, and that's what the points tournament is all about. So it looks like both runners are going to avoid this. I guess with the inventory stars, uh, some runners are going to want to avoid in World 3. And some runners are not going to care about the inventory star. Um, so far with the way that the points have been tracked, I myself might not care about the inventory star so that I get the edge of time, right? <clears throat> you get an extra point if you win the race and um, or an extra point for not using a star, right? So it's either, either or. There's lots of uh, choice points here. All right, here we go. 3-9. Is he going to get the H jump? Oh, and he does get the H jump. Very nice. Very nice H-jump from our runner, Zone V. Narfman, it's your turn. You got to do it. 
Gets the bomb jump. Love to see it. Nice, man. Yeah, what an insane... Look at how close they are. This is the first race of the season. Is this what it's going to be like? The whole time? I hope so. That does not count for Runaway. We were asked that. I'm glad that happened in the first race so I can guarantee and let everyone know uh, that is not what Runaway is all about. So as, zo as long as Zone doesn't lose Fire Flower on this airship, he will get the Fire Flower point. Neither runner got Runaway, bro, and neither runner got Door 4. Zone got the first frame jump where Narf Man did not. Right on. Wow, what an insane race so far. I hope everyone in the crowd is having a good time. I hope you guys are enjoying the first race of Season 3. It's looking nice. It's looking nice. Hope you guys are enjoying it. I know I'm having a great time. These runners are definitely putting on a good show. If they if they have nerves, <clears throat> if they have nerves, then uh, they're not showing it because they're playing very well. They're playing very well. All right, now, as long as Zone does not lose his Fire Flower against Wendy or anything, he shouldn't. He shouldn't if he does. I mean, we've seen it before. It's not something that hasn't happened, so... Hopefully. All right, let's take a look. Two shots, four shots, six, eight, ten. He's good to go. And there it is. Zone gets the no loss of Fire Flower point. There we go. Very, very nice. All right, zone entering world four. Narf man also. Oh, oh my gosh. A couple slip shots there, but he is, he is not eligible for the point as he did lose it in world two. All right. <clears throat> no backwards, bro. Let's move along here. We got world four now. We got world four and down. All duck jumps in four, six. A marathon, bro, which is five or more movements. And bottom P speed in 4-1. So here's another point where these runners could get. Hopefully they get it. So the idea of the point here is not for something that's overly difficult, but it's supposed to change up the way runners get their P speed in this level. Oh, it's scary, dude, but he does get it. He does get the bottom P speed. He is awarded that point. And now it is Narfman's turn. Come on, buddy. You got it. Nice. Oh, it seems a lot of people are now using my official MFP uh, strats here in 4-1. Thank you, thank you. I know, the shell grab is beautiful, isn't it? That was a movement of 4 for Zone. The way the Hammer Brothers were set up, he was not able to get a marathon. So, that was not a marathon there. So, let's take a look at Narfman. Narfman also not eligible for the marathon here. <clears throat> I know we have some people watching Narfman stream, so with their with their audio, uh, they would definitely tell me if you got a marathon. We can always do a points check later. All right, <clears throat> that was another movement of two right there for Zone. Strategies are looking good. Love the strategies here. All right, four three, everyone's favorite level. Everyone loves this level. Bleep bleep. All right, no taking damage. Narf Man looks like he's also in the clear. Boom. Nice, he gets the star. Narf Man, boop, boop. Double bop. Ooh, that is so scary. All right, Zone doing this level without a fire or without a star. He does have extra inventory stars. What are they for? Ah, and he loses his fire flower. That. That is going to be a time loss for him. These runners have these extra inventory stars. I wonder what they're for. What are they using them for? Very interesting. Oh, crap. Narfman. Oh, my God, dude. He just killed it without a star in a race. First race, season three. Damn, man. I, okay, I was not expecting that. That was a movement of four. Not a movement of five. Oh, Narfman almost gets the marathon. Not quite, though. Not quite. Does get the cloud, though. Come on, Zone. Make sure you pull it back together. Oh, Narfman gets the inventory star. That is unfortunate. He is not going to be awarded that point. It is down. Uh, where is inventory star? 
Right here, World 6 Inventory Star. He is not going to be awarded the Inventory Star. That is very unfortunate. Zone does have a music box. So let's see what happens here for Zone. Narc Man getting through the level still has Fire Flower. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is a mini marathon for Zone. That is a mini marathon for Zone. Very nice. That was more than five movements. Zone getting that random RNG. All duck jumps here though. Oh! He can't duck jump! <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh, this is insane. Narf man taking the lead! Do not forget the duck jump zone. Narf man, he's gonna get the duck jump. Oh, he did duck jump there! Now he's just gotta beat it. Wow, this is incredible. Narf man gonna get the duck jumps. Zone not going to get the duck jumps. And it looks like Narfman should... Oh, he's going to put them to sleep. Okay. All right. It would have been... I think Narfman should have definitely just fought and got the P-Wing. He might as well have. Uh, he had already got screwed over there. But, wow, what a swing in World 4. I don't think Zone was... I don't think Zone had ever expected to hit that coin block. But it happens. And just like that, Narfman has taken the lead. Holy jumping. That's incredible. Both got bottom P speed. He got the marathon. Narfman didn't get the marathon. Right on. All right. What do you guys think of that World 4? What do you guys think of that World 4 right there? That is incredible. I I, I don't know, man. I wasn't expecting the uh, the duck jumps there. So, for anyone who doesn't know, in 4-6, every jump that the runners did had to have done a duck jump. Um, so what happened was, Zone hit the question block and lost all of his momentum and he, he was stuck in the bottom there and he didn't know exactly what to do. He did the right thing with the turtle shell and then just halfway through his slow duck jumping, he unfortunately was not able to uh, secure it, sadly. Yeah, that, that, that was intense. I don't think I'm missing um, any points here. I'm sure you guys would let me know. But it's looking good. Narf Man is in the lead for time, but he's not in the lead for points. All right, so we have World Five. World Five coming right up. So what do we what do we have to look for in World Five? We got the big Koopa jump in five four, shared points, early P speed, uh, three movements of four. Uh, if they lose their Fire Flower, they lose a point. It's not that they gain a point, and they have to get a two eighty two or higher in the Shaft of Shame. Very exciting. Narf Man does have the leap for six eight. So they're kind of tied right now. They're kind of tied right now. Uh, neither runner has used their lifeline. Should always double check for that. Ooh, zone is at the bottom. This could be very dangerous for him. I don't know if any runners ever practiced this. Wow, that's too scary, man. I do not like going down there. Oh, Narf Man gonna be able to get the fire kill. Oh no! Okay. Both runners getting the fire kill. Wow. <clears throat> going for the off screen. Even if he got the wall jump, he wouldn't have had enough time to get the one. But I like the effort. I like the effort. Yeah, man. This is intense. I love this. I love this. All right, what are we looking for? I am I am looking forward to the 282. I am definitely looking forward to the 282. All right, Narf Man in first is gonna use his P-Wing. Zone is also gonna use his P-Wing. Uh, losing your, oh, you do not wanna press B when trying to go up into the pipe. That will not let you, all right, let's see how this goes for both runners. Oh, Zone! Okay, we're good, we're good. Zone does the little wall rub there. Not get, not being able to get Narfman, not being able to catch up to him. A little bit of time loss, but they both get it. 
All right, here they go. Let's. I'm very excited for this. So that looks. So I think they're gonna do the take damage strategy. I don't think many runners uh, shared a lot of points. So a lot of people might be asking, why did you add this point? It seems like it adds on so much time. If you do this run and get it very fast, this run, this this point only is an additional, I think, about 12 seconds. And that's why it's a speedrun point. Okay, I'm very into this. Oh, so I'm taking that extra hit of damage. I don't know if that's going to change anything. Narfman gets the 282. Zone also. No, Zone gets the 281. Narf man, he's going to get the 282 points. Oh, what was that? Was that a movement of four? That was a movement of four from both of our runners. Both runners with a movement of four. Now they just need to get two more movements of four. Music box on zone. He's small Mario here. This could be very scary. This is intense. This is way too intense. Very nice. Narfman, is Narfman going to use a music box here? That's the question. Narfman is going to use a music box. Zone had already used the music box. Bump in the overworld. Yes, he's going to equip this extra fire flower. Good job. They do have extra fire flowers in their inventory. All right, here we go. Twisty Cat. Ooh, almost wall rub there. Don't want to watch out for that. Having Fire Flower is going to be good for Zone because it, he is going to be able to get early P-Speed in 5-5. Well, it's going to be a little bit easier. You can still get early P-Speed in 5-5 um, with Big Mario. So here comes a very scary point, guys. You have to do a full big jump off of the Red Koopa in 5-4. You get a point for that. Ooh, slipping and sliding off the vine. You got to watch out for those vines, man. Nice, avoiding coin ship. Okay, Narfman did not get a movement of four. So he still needs to get three. Zone, however, did get a movement of four. Oh! <laughs> Narfman gets it! That is such a risky point. Zone also gets it too. Holy crap. If you miss by one, that's it. You lose. You're dead. All right, shared points here. Is he going to use his fire flower? He's going to use his fire flower. Let's see. Does he get early P-Speed? Oh, Narfman does get early P-Speed. Does Zone get early P-Speed? Zone also gets early P-Speed. So neither runner gets the point because they share it. They have to They have to have their opponent not get it. But they don't know if their opponent got it or not. So that makes it, that makes it pretty interesting. So neither runner gets the shared point. They got to bank it off the other runner. Zone needs two more moves. Er, yeah, there's another movement of four. If he gets one more, then he gets that point. All right, here we go. Oh, he didn't get it. Zone is getting, he's getting lucky. Which is unlucky in the tournament. That is hilarious, man. That is hilarious. All right, Narfman getting another movement of two here. The Hammer Brothers at the bottom for Zone, though, can definitely, definitely give him. Let's uh, let's actually switch the audio since Narfman is in the lead. Now let's switch the audio up a bit. Zone does need one more movement of four, though. Narfman still needs three of them. Neither runner has lost their fire flower. Oh, now Zone's in the lead. Oh, Zone gets a movement of four right there. All right, let's put Zone's audio back on. For as soon as I swip swap. Don't worry, we're going to have some judges to go and make sure that that was a movement of four for Zone. When he was in the top clouds, I'm I'm almost certain it was a movement of four. Yeah, and that was a movement of two. He definitely got a movement of four there. Zone got the movement of four. Oh, 
All right, look at that. Zone just takes a crisp lead in World 5. That was insane, man. He just he just snaked that crisp lead. Very, very nice, dude. <laughs> Coming up on World 6, though. However, look, we got the one point right here. We got the one point on Narfman's side. He can take the lead. He can take the lead. Well, he can at least tie it up. All right, good job from our runners, doing a very, very good job. Don't forget everyone, stay hydrated, stretch your legs. Ooh, wait a minute, they could lose their fire flower somewhere here. This could happen. You'd hate to see it. Nice, take a nice drink of water here. Nice, zone gets fire kill. Narf man doesn't want to get stunned here. Right on. All right, <clears throat> we're off to world six. World six is a little stressful because you got floor clip, you got wall jump, high bro, low bro. So world six should be interesting. Um, Narf, oh, that's right. Narf man has gotten an inventory star where zone has not yet. Zone has not got an inventory star, but well, no, I think they no, they don't have an extra music box, so you could still get screwed over here by the Hammer Brothers. But you can use that to your advantage for high and low patterns. Ooh, man, this is exciting! All right, so let's take a look. He got a high pattern. So luckily, the first Hammer Brother that you fight is correct. They both got high patterns. One high, one low. Okay, so it doesn't mark as anything special. Okay. One high, one low. Whoa, Zone, man. He's flip-flopping a little bit on that platform. You gotta watch out for that. Nice big jump from Zone, man. That That's a tough jump. That's a really big jump. All right, Narf, man. Ooh, gets the wall rub. See, that's a little bit of a time loss. Nice. They're gonna get the star so they can defeat the Bam Bam really fast. Bam Bam, right there. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay, so here we go. And now, now World 6 starts. Ooh, Zone getting a little marathon there. That's really going to alter uh, the Hammer Brothers. He fights. Narf Man not really getting a marathon. This is going to be much better for him. Zone getting early peace speed in 6-4. Very nice. It looks like Narf Man wasn't necessarily going for it. That's not a bad idea, right? Because sometimes you don't know if you're going to get it. Or if you, you know... Very scary. Oh, that was risky, man. That 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 spinner can throw you in the hole. Ooh, Narf Man. Or sorry, Zone. He doesn't have an extra music box, though. So he is going to have to fight the Piranha Plant stage in World 7. And it looks like Narf Man does get an option here. Ooh, not going to get the despawn there. Running on top of that block. Zone is unfortunately take. Ooh, Narf Man also. What just happened? Oh my. Oh, he got he got a lot of lag. I, I guess that's gonna work. Right on. That is sick. I was not expecting that, but he did make it work. All right, he's gonna have to use his hammer. We can't find out for low pattern versus high pattern yet, but let's find out for Narf Man. Is he gonna get low pattern? He does get low pattern. So Narf Man or is. Ooh, sorry, sorry, that's so. Narf Man is going to get the high low pattern. Wow, man. Narf Man has gotten very lucky this run. Is he going to remember to use his leaf, though? It would be kind of funny if he forgot to use that same leaf. That would be unfortunate. Is Zone going to forget to go back and fight the Hammer Brother? That is also the question. He's got to go back and fight him. Don't forget. Okay, he's not forgetting. Does he get low pattern? He does also get low pattern. Very nice. Keeping the points steady. Keeping the points steady. Here we go. They are neck and neck right now. High and low. Very close. He's going to use a star. He does use his leaf. And there you go. Narfman uses his leaf. 
for 6-8. He does remember. That is that is like a 30 minute or 34 minute. Well, a couple minutes here and there. Very nice. They're both going to take damage for the shared point on the wall jump. The person who gets it first try versus the person who doesn't is going to be the person who gets it. If they both get it first try, neither runner gets the point. All right, good luck. Ooh, zone does not get it. Oh, neither runner got it. Now it's a battle of the wall jumps. Zone does get it though. Ooh, Narf man not getting the pixel. Come on game, give him the pixel. This is not fair. I don't know, maybe he's got the pixel. Maybe we can't see, maybe he hasn't executed his jump. All right, zone coming in hot. He's gonna go for the clip. Big points, guys, big points. Nice, Narfman does get it. All right, now it's time to get in gear, Narfman. Get in gear, you gotta make up that lost time. 7-1, right? Ooh, zone almost gets it. That was very close. All right, Narfman, he's gonna use his mushroom. That's actually not a bad idea. You got the extra mushroom, why not? So zone is gonna get no inventory stars for world six he is gonna get no inventory stars for world six does narf man get six four three clip <sighs> so close man it's so close wow what an insane race they're neck and neck of points and they're neck and neck with time man they're so close like one hand can make a difference here right all right zone's gonna enter the airship first followed by narf man Awesome first race. All right, they're on the airship. Not a whole lot going on right now with the airship, but we do have World 7 coming right up. So World 7, for those of you who don't know, they got, if they get 292 or lower, they will lose a point in 7-3. They have to make sure they don't use a P-Wing in the first fortress. Uh, they can go for first try clip in 7-6. I don't know if they'll go for it or not. It's up to them. Um, and they have to make sure they do no bumps, no bonks, no overworld stuns. So when you're moving on the overworld map, you don't want to hear that bump sound. Um, I'm sure we have somebody on Narfman's side listening to his audio. If not, you can kind of tell when somebody bonks, bonks or stuns. All right, looks like we're in the home stretch for the first race. I like, I like. Zone, not gonna go for the fire kill. I don't blame him. You don't really do fire kill much in Warpless, so it's not a big deal. Ooh, sub pixel manipulation. That, I don't, you know, I don't know how much he pressed left or right there, but that looked like he wouldn't technically be on sub pixel 15, so. Very interesting. All right, Narf Man also gonna have to go for the stomp kill. Not a big idea. Not not a big problem here. That's normally what happens in Warpless. Nice. Goes for the also sub pixel manip. So it looks like Zone's gonna go for stand clip, and Narf Man's gonna go for duck clip. There is no seven one as it's already a time consumed thing. So let's see. Oh, he does not get a first try. This is a chance. This is a chance for Narf Man to catch up. He gets a third try though. Very nice. A lot of stress. A lot of stress taken off there. A lot of stress taken off there. Narf Man, you gotta nail it. You gotta nail it. You can't be can't be doinking around in there for too long. Zone, ma make sure he doesn't do any overworld bumps. Narf Man is gonna go for the duck clip. Hey, he gets it first try! All right, so he does save a little bit of time there. Very nice for Narf Man. I wonder if he has a first try in his PB. If not, that kind of bites, or, you know, that kind of burns. Ooh. <gasps> this is, this is scary. All right, Narf Man using one of his stars, one of his 15 million stars. And he does get the P-Speed. That was very scary for Zone right there. Oh my gosh. All right, Narf Man also does not want to take damage here. Doesn't take damage. He takes damage, but later though, he doesn't have to worry about taking damage there. He does, you can see how much he caught up in time. Remember, Zone does not have a music box. 
Zone does not have a music box for the Piranha Plan at the end of this world, so Zone is still behind by a solid 15 seconds or so. 293! Oh no, that's uh, that's a punishment point, that's right. 293. Narf Man also has to do it as small Mario, very scary. No bumps from either runner yet. Zone gonna use his P-Wing in the pipe transition. Very good idea. I was curious to see what runners were planning on doing. That's a very good idea. No bumps from Narf Man yet. He's also gonna use his P-Wing. Very nice. That is that is cool. I like that strategy. Good job. That is a good, that's a smart, smart idea. So it's like you still get the P-Wing, right? Ooh, he's not gonna be able to make it up. Ooh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. No, oh, no, he's good, he's good. No bumps. Zone's gonna go for first try. Oh, and he doesn't get it first try. Very unfortunate. All right, Zone does get it though. Narf man, this is a chance for him to catch up. This is a chance, I gave their points. This is a chance for them to catch up. First try clip, here it is. My finger's on the trigger. Oh, and he doesn't get it. He must not have got the right subpixel value. How many tries is it gonna take him though? Ooh, gotta watch out for those body rubs. Zone, he's gonna use the star. Ooh, he almost died there. That was very close. Come on, Narf man, get in there. Come on, Narf man. Zone is gonna go for hammer suit. Come on, man. This is ridiculous clip. He's missing a lot of attempts though, right? Every time he rubs the wall too much, that's a that's a wasted attempt. Oh, come on, clip. This is ridiculous. There we go. He's in there. He's in there. I know it took a long time. It's very unfortunate. Zone is going to go for the clips. What? Okay. Oh, this is intense. All right. This is the time for Narf Man to catch up. <laughs> this is time. No bumps or bonks yet. No bumps or bonks yet. Oh, man. I, anyone who goes for 7 9. Very nice on Narfman's side. He's gonna go for the fire strategy. No reason to do hammer suit for season three. No reason. All right, let's hope Zone does not get a fanfare. He does not. Very close, though. So, what's gonna happen here? He's gonna use a star and a cloud. Very nice. He's gonna get his extra star. Yup. Oh, no. <laughs> this is insane right now. So Zone decided to use his cloud on the fortress instead of 7-9. Okay, that makes sense. I can see that. No bumps. No bumps from Zone. We were listening. Do we, and uh, I'm pretty sure we got no bumps from Narfman. Let's see. Music box. No bumps from Narfman. Did Narfman bump right at the end there? Okay, somebody said that Narfman didn't get the seven fort one point. Uh, he didn't use a P-Wing. He got the point. He did bump. Ooh, that sucks. Why didn't... Oh, he didn't get the 283. That's right. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much. He was too slow. That's right. That's right. 183 with... That's right. Zone did get it, though. Okay, sorry. I, I honestly forgot that, the, that there was a time there, the 183. I thought it was just get it without the P-Way. Very nice. Yo, chat coming in clutch. I need. I, I knew I would need a little bit of help from chat on the first race. I knew I would need a little bit of help. Look at how close these guys are, though. These these guys are so incre incredibly close right now. This is insane. Ooh. One fire, 
one hammer. And it's all up to the hands, dude. All up to the hands. This is crazy. All right. So we have no fanfare. Ooh, no points for Narf in World 7. No punishment, though. That's good. Yeah, man. If that if that clip didn't take him so long, he would definitely be in the lead. Like, if he would have got that first try or something, he definitely would have been in the lead. So, so far, he's in second place. And we don't know what times these runners are going to get yet. All right, zone. Boom. Don't get stunned, man. It's definitely possible to die here. Ooh. <laughs> All right, let me take a quick little drink. We have we have auto scroller galore here. Nice, you need the 289 and the 291, man. That's gonna be crazy. Uh, I don't think either runner has used their lifeline. Do, do, do. All right, so there is no point here for the tanks. I don't know if we've had season points for the tanks just yet, but but yeah, not too bad, not too bad. So in World 8, they have to go for the conveyor P speed. They have to get 289, 291 together, and then anything other than that. We've had pretty intense World 8s in the past. But we are not going to have intense world eights for season three. Um, but what makes world eight already intense without any points is the hands. All right, looks like zone's almost finished with the first tank. It's gonna go for the D-Lag strats. If you don't kill those bombs there, it will lag a lot on the auto-scroller. Un unfortunately, it will lag a lot. All right, all right, zone. Don't lose, don't lose your hammer suit to the boomerang, bro, please. All right, Narf Man. Narf Man not catching up, but I want, you know, I want him to be catching up a little bit, but one hand. I think it makes the difference. Let's see. Let's see the time difference here. So, uh, 4746, the black screen there. Ooh, no Wrangless, man. That would have been good for him. That would have been nice. So, 10 seconds. Um, about 14 seconds. He's about 14 seconds behind. So, one less hand, and Narfman could take the lead. One less hand, and Narfman could take the lead. This is gonna be intense, man. The hands, my hand luck lately has not been good. So let's hope that these runners have much better luck with the hands than I have. Much better luck. We wanna see much better luck. Come on, boys, you got this. Dude, it's always so nerve wracking here. It's always so nerve-wracking here. If Narf Man wins in time, that'll be a pretty big, bit, pretty big swing. Zone is gonna be able to save a little bit of time with hammer kills. Ooh, I thought he was gonna get overkill. He knows about the overkill, so I hope he doesn't get it on uh, one of the tanks. All right, Zone is gonna be the first one at the hands. <laughs> What's it gonna be, dude? The hands are way too nuts. 
Oh, he went for the buffer. That's not a bad idea. I use the buffer too. You got hand number one. If Narf Man gets no hands here. Oh, they both got hand one, dude. Get out of here, hand one. Narf Man is going to catch up here, though. With Fire Flower, he's going to be able to go a little bit faster here. Oh, and Zone only gets one hand. This is big. This is big. Oh, Narf Man also only getting one hand. Zone and Narf Man only getting one hand. Wow, way to keep this intense. Now, Narf Man was able to do hand one a little bit faster than Zone, so he did catch up a little bit from that. What what is he what do you, what do you think? He's about 10 seconds behind at this point. That's a big deal. I mean, if Zone Ah, oh, man, anything can happen. All right, what is he? Uh, 50, 38 on black screen for... Yeah, about 10 seconds, nice. Wow, Narvman gained like three seconds just inside hand one. All right, here we go. The combo points, 289 and 291. He's gonna use a star. 281 and 290. That just happened. He's got another opportunity. That just happened. And it looks like Narf Man is going to get the 289. Ooh. The, the no reward for the point, which means Zone is also not going to get the combo. 8-1 and 8-2 point. Narfman needs to get these points here. Needs to get these points. We will switch the audio in just a second. Let's see if he gets the points. The 291. Wow, and he does get it. He's also not in second place anymore. Wow, look at the point swing. All right, will Narfman get Conveyor P-Speed? Oh, he got early P-Speed right there. Will Narfman get Conveyor P-Speed? Narfman does get Conveyor P-Speed! Wow. Ooh, unfortunately, Zone is out of his element right now. He doesn't have his power-ups. So unfortunately, he's not gonna be able to benefit from these from these strategies. That death, oh my gosh, just a little too short. That definitely cost him the race, that one death. But he does, he is able to get his Fire Flower back here. And he still has a chance to get Conveyor P-Speed. This is very important that he gets Conveyor P-Speed. He, he'll, he'll keep the tie. He'll keep the tie here. Come on, Conveyor. Oh! He jumped and shot his fireball. I wonder if that had anything to do with his rebuild. But it looked like it looked like his pixels over that hole did not allow him to get the conveyor P speed. Luckily, he does have his fire flower. I don't know. I don't know. If Narfman loses his fire flower, will he be able to catch up with the Bowser pattern? That is incredible. That is insane. Oh man, was not expecting that death. Don't worry guys, he has a second race to redeem himself. Do not forget he has a second race to redeem himself. Wow. Wow, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but I was not expecting that at all. Just that short little hop at 8-1, right? He just didn't make it on that Bullet Bill launcher. And, and then it, it threw him out of his entire comfort zone, right? 8-1, 8-2, wasn't entirely sure exactly what he wanted to do. He was flying, he was taking Haxer Sands of Shame, right? He's doing, he was doing the works there. After getting pretty lucky with the hands, I mean, hopefully they get that same luck in race two.
Both of them. I want I want each runner to get just as lucky. Okay, not gonna go for the clip. No need for it. <sighs> See what I mean? Almost lost his fire flower there. I don't know if Zone can catch up from a Bowser battle though. I, I think he's just a little too far behind. Unless Narfman plunges into the Ragu here. No, he does not. All right. He's a Bowser kill away. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, dude. That is crazy. Oh, Zone gets the clip. Nice. I thought I thought Narf might have taken damage from Bowser. Oh! Zone almost took damage. All right, Narfman coming in first place with a 55-20. Congratulations to Narfman, first place. 55-20. Holy crap. So what do we get here? We'll wait until Zone finishes. We'll dish out the points. Give the runners a little five-minute break. All right, and Zone does finish up. Looks like Zone, looks like the runners are going to not have to worry too much. Zone finishes with a 56, a 56. Okay, so sub 60. And uh, no sub 54, no sub 52. What's going on with the tracker here? Why is this weird? Oh, that's right. That's it shouldn't I don't think it should be 3 points for getting under 54. That's that's a lot of points, but they did not get sub 54. Okay, so the tracker Yeah, that was weird. What what's going on here? Oh, it's two additional points. Okay. Anyways, Damn, dude, that's crazy. That's crazy. Look at this. Look at this, 14 to 15. All right, go ahead and take a quick little five minute break, guys. Fourteen for zone, fifteen for narf. Wow, absolutely incredible. All right, let me let me update some stuff here. Ooh, foo, 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 foo. Oh, whoops. There we go. We in there. We in there. All right, race one. Runner one, race one points. That would be zone fourteen. 14 to 15, man, that's crazy. Okay, here we go, the runners are ready. All right, we got three, two, one, go. All right, they know when to go. They're getting ready. Race two, you guys, race two. 14 to 15, zone 14, Narfman, or, or zone 14, Narfman 15. Really, really insane close race in terms of time. Both runners did not get under 54. Ooh, man, 1-1 one, one is always scary. Dude, I get so scared of 1-1. One, one. All right, first point in this world that they're gonna be going for is the MFP tunnel. The MFP tunnel in world one. Ooh, dude. Narf man taking a little bit of a lead there because he got a movement of one versus zone with his movement of two. Ooh, zone not getting early P-speed. That's the same thing that happened to Narfman last time, but neither of them got the early P-Speed. You hate to see it, ladies and gentlemen. You hate to see it, but neither of them have the cards, so they don't have to worry about the fanfare for at least a couple more levels, but they do have to worry about this Waffle and MFP Tunnel. So someone better get the MFP Tunnel, and they better get it quick. 
because I know chat has been dying to spam the MFP tunnel. Very nice from both runners grabbing the quick grab with the leaf. And look at that. Right on. Season three. Here we go. Ooh, pretty shaky Hammer Brother movements from both of them, ending up in the same spot. All right, here we go. Come on, someone's got to get the tunnel. Not keeping PCP, but he does get it back. Oh, Zone gets it! Oh, and Narf Man doesn't! That is exactly what Zone needed, man. That is exactly what Zone needed. He needs to catch up in points here. He's got to catch up, and he gets it, man. He heard the calling, man. He heard it. Right on. Okay. This level's intense, man. You got to watch out. You got to get that early P speed, man. Sometimes it doesn't work. And it does work. All right, Narf, man. Got to get that early P speed. Very nice. And he gets the Fire Flower. That's good, man. He's getting really, really good end level cards. And same with Narf, man. All right. Let's see what happens here. All right. He gets the Fire Flower on the Hammer Brother. Narf, man, does not. Let's see if he gets lucky again with the Leaf in the Mushroom House. Oh, he does not get lucky, but he does have an extra Fire Flower. Let's see if Zone can get lucky this time. He did not get lucky last time. Maybe he got lucky this time. And he does get lucky! This race is already looking good for Zone. This race is already looking good for Zone. He's in the castle. He's got his Fire Flower. He's got his Leaf. He's got his MFP Tunnel. He's looking good. He's looking good. What a, what a fantastic first three minutes of the race. Already intense. Already intense. Now, let's hope that these runners are paying attention on the auto-scrollers. I know some people are looking at their swimsuit calendars, making sure that the days are lining up, right? Don't worry, they are. The calendar is working. What do we got? The, the swimsuit babes can be a pretty big distraction. And always on the auto-scroll. You got so much time to do whatever you want on auto-scrollers. Very easy to get distracted. So these runners better pay attention. It's just scary on these. Look at these. These crappy designed airships made out of wood. Nice, Bowser, nice. All right, both runners should be able to secure the fire kill at ease. They both know how to do it. Uh, they didn't get any weird patterns. Yeah, they should be pretty good. Narfman going for the safe stomp. I don't blame him, man, I don't blame him. All right, world two. World two, this is where things start to ramp up a little bit. It's not too fast, but a little slow. We got Motive Tears, we got Red Rocket, and both Boomerang Bros moving backwards. Now, the Motive Tears is don't fall in the water in world two, level two. Do not fall in the water in world two, level two. Um, but first, we gotta get through 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one is not overly difficult. Um, it can definitely take, it, it can consume souls. It, it, it has a, it has this time from like right there. Zone rubbing up against purple walls. Narfman also rubbing up against purple. You don't want to rub purple walls. I don't at least. I don't know. Some people might, but I don't. I don't like purple walls. They slow me down. All right. Someone's got to fall in the moat. We need a moat faller. Oh, we get the spade card game. Oh, Zone doesn't know for sure. Oh, Narfman instantly gets what he wants, and Zone also gets it. Let's scroll on down and give him the spade game point. Nice, both runners getting the spade game point. Congratulations. Man, I feel like every runner is going to capitalize on those points. Narfman taking his time. Not sure... Narfman wanted the extra points. Okay, okay, I get it. He, wa he wants the extra items, right? You want the extra items. Ooh, he's going really fast here. This could be stressful. And he doesn't fall in the mode of tears. Damn it. Someone's got to fall in into my treacherous trap. My moat traps. The tears of all the fallers. Everyone crying, not making it. 
Yeah, after watching, man, I, I, I definitely underestimated how good people were gonna get at um, the spade card game. That, that's incredible. Well, I mean, hold on, this is only the first race, right? So this gonna, we're gonna actually see a big difference in people who practice versus people who didn't practice. That is a big thing. All right, both runners doing a very good job in the fortress. Narf Man is going to be behind a little bit in time here. Oh, the boomerang bro pretended to move backwards. What a slap in the face for zone. The the boomerang bro like moved back for like a frame, but then no, he's like, nope, I'm not moving backwards for you. So let's see what let's see what Narfan gets. Oh, Narfan gets to move forward, so he's not going to be able to get lucky again this time around. Zone getting the P speed. Almost didn't get the P speed for that red rocket. That was very close on zone. Oh! Oh, he ditches it! That is not what you want to see. He also can't take damage here. Don't take damage. Wow, what an intense thing to happen. But it looks like Narf Man is going to be able to get the point, And he does get the point. He brings the rocket there and he does throw it. He does tie it up. Oh man, that is a hate to see it moment for Zone. Lost a point, had a slowdown, was worried about... Oh man. He almost got post 2-3 early hammer. I wonder if he would have taken it if he got it. Oh, Narfman almost got it as well. What the heck? What do you, what do you guys think? Can we get a poll in chat? If, if like, Do you guys think if runners get early hammer, if they're going to use it or if they're not going to use it? Nice. Zone is going to go for it. He did not... He's got... Zone has had four moving forwards in a row. Four moving forwards in a row. Narfman didn't take damage this time. Oh my gosh, that was the scariest movement I've ever seen from Narfman's side. Right on, looking good. Narf man, ah, a little too late. He got one move backwards and the other one didn't. I guess I could, I guess I could mark it. Ooh, we had a little, a little freeze there. That's okay, we're back in action. I don't, I don't know, I don't know if the internet's chugging or, or what, but. Too much internet being used. All right, both in the tunnel, not bad. Ooh, Narfman missed that shot. Gonna create a little bit of extra lag, but I don't think that's gonna be a big big deal. Very nice from either runner, very nice. All right, Zone makes it out first. Zone does not get Red Rocket. Didn't fall in the mode of tears. He didn't get backwards bro. He didn't get a backwards bro in both games. However, Narfman did get Red Rocket. He also didn't fall in the modes or get the back. He got one backwards. He got one backwards. We'll mark it down for the one backwards. Yeah, we'll give him the one. All right, off to World 3. All right. World 3 introduces our first share point. Introduces our first share point. This is actually kind of exciting because last time... Zone was able to benefit from the share point and Narfman didn't, so hopefully hopefully we get a change of pace here. We got Door 4, Runaway Bro, and no lost fire. Neither runner has lost their fire flower in worlds two or three. The extended point. I, I love the points that extend between the worlds. Here we go, man. This boss can always be so finicky. I'm always so scared for these runners on the boss. World 2 is by far the worst. World 2 is by far the worst.
All right, world three, I'm very excited, okay. We need the shared point. So the way the shared point is, if they both get it, they neither get a point. But if one person gets it and the other person doesn't, the person who gets it, Zone gets it again! Narfman needs this. Narfman needs this. Oh, Narfman does not get it. So that means Zone does get the point. That's the way it's shared, right? If Narfman did get the jump, neither runners would get the point because they both got it. That is crazy. All right, here we go. Wow, he does get early P-Speed. So both runners. Oh no, he lost it. He didn't take damage though. <laughs> wow. How did he not go through the fish there? How did he not go through the fish there? Narfman though, nail, oh no! There's a fish, oh he gets fished! And he loses his fire flower. He is not going to be able to keep the fire flower points. Man, oh man. So Narfman really, really needs to hope that Zone, oh my gosh, get the Fire Flower. Oh, come on, Narfman, what's going on here? What is going on, Narfman? You got this, dude, you got this. All right, Zone needs to go for door four. Oh, and he doesn't get door four. Okay, this is where Narfman needs to only, not only catch up in time, but he, he needs this. He needs this. Ah, oh, no runaway either. All right, he needs door four. It'll, he'll catch up in a lot of time and get an extra point. It's very important. <laughs> he gets it! That is insane! That's exactly what he needed. And look at how much he's caught up just from that. Holy crap. That is what you want to see. You love to see it. Ooh, he's not gonna get run away. Ooh, he's not gonna fight them either. That inventory star point, man. They hard they're hardcore about that point. They are hardcore about that point. Wow. Alright, zone also does not get runaway. Music box cloud, that's the strat. Oh, <gasps> Oh, zone falling in the water. This is gonna... Oh, he almost took damage from that turtle in the water, man. That's crazy. That is insane. All right, here we go, H jump. It is time for the H jump. He's jumping three, nine. Zone does get it, Narfman needs to get this. Ooh, he almost hit the music box there, but he does get it. These are the kinds of strats that, that Narfman needs to make sure he keeps up with because if he starts messing them up, he's just gonna bleed more and more time and Zone already has the lead. Um, and that's gonna give him the point advantage. And if Zone has a much better time in race one than Narfman, that will go towards a tie, right? If they tie in points, the person overall average with the best time between both races will take the win. So it's pretty intense here. So, so far Zone has not lost his Fire Flower, um, whereas Narfman did. So Narfman is not gonna be able to get that point, but Zone is. So Zone, Zone should be one point ahead, but we're not out of World 3 yet. We are not out of World 3 just yet. This is intense. Uh, don't forget everyone, type exclamation tournament in chat if you want to get the brackets, the schedule. The schedule is very important. The schedule will allow you to keep up with when races are happening so you can stay in touch with the whole tournament. Um, it's got the brackets. It also has the um, 
It also has the rules and the points, all the points and how the points apply and what they mean and and uh, how much, how many points you get, right? And it's got a description of the um, the share points as well, all the rules, if you want to understand the rules, if you want to understand what the cash prizes are. Um, and it also has the bracket, or sorry, the, um, the tracker um, in exclamation tournament. You can download the tracker yourself and play around with it and maybe do your own points run or just use the tracker to follow along with the other runners. Uh, that was created by Zero Planes and he is amazing. And Zone does not lose Fire Flower in Worlds 1 and 2. So he is able to secure that point. Right on. Another another somewhat neck and neck race. I mean, Narf Man's not that far behind. Zone Zone does one big slip up and that's it, right? One big slip up and that is it. All right, coming on to World 4. They got to get bottom P speed and not mess it up. By the time you get past the bottom section, you have to keep P speed. Now, taking damage, I wouldn't consider a mess up. Not a big deal. Oh, yeah, he's only a couple seconds behind. All right, zone's going to be up first. He's got to take bottom path, and he does nail it. Now it's Narfman's turn. It's your turn, Narfman. Oh! Oh, he can't... Ah, that is hard. He kept P-Speed past the point. Hmm. He did get P-Speed, and he did take P-Speed through bottom section, and he did keep P-Speed past the point that I referenced in Discord. I think he does get the point. I think they both get the point. He did keep P-Speed. He almost lost it, but he did keep it. Gotta award him the point. Played is played. There was, uh, there was something that I left in the Discord for all the runners to see. The point at which you had to keep P-Speed till and anything after that point didn't matter. And he made it past that point. So I do give him the point. He does get the point. Gotta go with it. That, I'm, I'm glad things like these, things like this are happening in, in the, in the runs, right? It sets the foundation for the rest of the tournament. But taking that damage there does suck. He's not gonna have Fire Flower for the Boom Boom. That's gonna be a little bit more of a time loss for him. But as long as he secures those points, right? Okay, I have confirmation. I have confirmation that Narfman has used his lifeline. Narfman did use his lifeline. I don't think there's a lifeline uh, ticker here, but we will just remember to make sure he did use his lifeline. Very exciting. So he has nine points. All right, and Zone is just annihilating it. Zone is just annihilating right now. He is, he is not slowing down. They're getting pretty decent RNG in this world. No marathons just yet. Five or more movements. Yeah, no marathon. Nice. Narfman gonna equip that fire flower. That's good. Narfman's in a pretty, pretty tough spot here. Oh, Zone getting the getting the double spiny. Man, that's so dude. This Lakitu's like the worst, man. Nice. Narfman gets the super swim. Alright, he makes it in easy. 282. Alright, let's see what happens to Zone here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Unavoidable inventory star. It's possible, man. It's possible. That actually might be the P-Wing, though. Narfman in the same spot. Oh, wow. But Zone gets lucky. Okay, duck jump time. Duck jump time. Narfman gets the P-Wing. Zone gets the all duck jumps. Very nice from Zone. All duck jumps. Narfman is able to avoid the inventory star this time. Very good. Last time he didn't, he couldn't. There's nothing you do. Duck jump, duck jump, duck jump. Oh wow, he did, he gets it. That is a crazy man. 
I kind of like that I don't have to do these things and, and, and watching the others do this is like, it just impresses me so much more. Like you don't have to have a world record in this game to really show off your skill. There's a lot of good runners, man. And they, a lot of them don't get noticed because it, a lot of people just care like, oh, who's got the world record? Who's got the fastest time? But like all these things that runners have to do in the points tournament just goes to show like how talented these runners are in this game. And it's incredible, man. I'm, I am insanely impressed. And we're only on the third season so far. And I've been impressed by almost every runner. The runners that I have not been impressed with are runners that definitely, you know, forfeit and don't show up. Who are, no, I'm just kidding. I, I love them all, man. Every Everyone is fantastic. Right on. Both runners get bottom P-speed and both runners get duck jump. Neither runner gets marathon. So they're not going to... They're not going to... They're not gonna benefit from from that. But as it stands, Narfman has 10 points. There is a lifeline point that he has used. Very interesting. A little bit of chatter going on in the Discord. Just, just checking up on it. All right. This is intense. So, the reason, the reason this is insane right now is because Zone still has his leaf for six eight. So he technically has eleven points as long as he remembers to use it. Narfman uses Lifeline. So he also has 10 points, but he has 15. So he's got one point ahead of Zone. So they are tied, but Zone is in the lead with time. So Zone would be one point ahead. Oh. <laughs> Damn, that boss can be really annoying. All right, Zone is going to be the first one out of World 4, and it looks like he is a solid... He's definitely over 10 seconds ahead, that's for sure. He's definitely over 10 seconds. Okay, but, uh, King grabbed the wand at 2338. The King grabbed the wand at 2338. All right, so it looks like Narfman is about 10 seconds there. Okay. Looks like Narfman's about 20 seconds behind. He needs P Wing. 21 seconds behind. Alright, Zone uses P Wing. Let's see if he let's see if he can get in the, the little nook better this time. Yes, much better. Very nice. Very nice on Zone's side. Alright, World 5's got some interesting points. You gotta do the shaft of shame 282 or higher. Big Koopa jump and 5-4. Shared points of 5-5. Five, five. And we have to get three movements of four and don't lose your fire flower. All right, Zone's gonna be the first for the Shaft of Shame. Oh, Narfman not getting it, but he does secure it right there. Very nice. All right, Zone. I think Zone fumbled this one up last time. He was unable to get this point where Narfman was. So let's see. Let's see what happens here. Oh yeah, much better on zone side. He is definitely gonna be able to secure this point. My finger's on the trigger right here. He does get it, very nice. Zone is not joking around this time. Zone is not joking around this time. Oh, that was definitely a movement of three. All right, Narf man. You need, you need to not miss any points here. <gasps> oh, he missed the pipe. That is going to cost him. Oh, and that does cost them. Big swings, man. The big swings. Ooh, Zone losing his P-Speed there. That is that is a weird spot to lose his P-Speed. Oh, Narfman gets a movement of four. Narfman gets a movement of four. Zone has not got a movement of four. Right on. Narfman using his mushroom here. I wonder why he hasn't used his fire flower here. Get the time save on the fire kill. Okay, here we go. 
We are in the twisty castle. Narf man, he's not too far behind, but he is slowly going behind in points here. He is slowly going behind in points here. So let's see, let's see. What do we got here? We got shared points and big Koopa jump coming up. Very scary. Narf man gets another movement of four. He needs one more movement of four right here. Now, as soon as those bros wake up, that's where he wants to get his movement of four. Zone, however, has not got any movements of four yet. Oh, it takes the damage. Is he gonna is he gonna use his fire flower early or later? Probably later. Oh! Zone bumped, but too bad. Too bad this isn't season two. I got very excited there. All right, so zone is. Oh my gosh, that is way too scary, man. I don't even. Oh man, I don't know if I would go for that. But that is in, that is intense. Nice, Narfman is out of coin ship range. All right, here we go. Both runners. All right, zone. Gets early P speed. Oh, Narfman opt out. That was a good idea because that was very scary. Narfman not going to be able to get the um, 282 or the big Koopa. And if he doesn't get early P speed, then he's giving the point. Narfman did not get a movement of four there. Oh, and he takes damage and does not get the shared point. That means that means Zone does get the shared point. That is incredible. That's how the shared points work. If they both get the P speed, neither runner gets the point. But if one person does and the other person doesn't, then the person who does gets the point. That's how the shared points work. Zone gets a movement of three, not a movement of four. Narfman still doesn't get that movement of four, man. Oh, very nice Fire Flower backup. You love to see it. Ooh, he's gonna have to take that slowdown though. Very nice P speed from zone side. Oof, you can clip into that ledge, man. That is a nightmare. Narf man having some slip ups here, man. Definitely a good usage of the uh, lifeline though. However, he's a little too far behind. He still can't get that movement of four. He's trying to get unlucky, but it's not working. He, he's got one left, two, two movements left. His own getting movements of one. Oh my gosh, Zone almost died right there. All right, here we go. Oh, Narf Man doesn't get a movement of four. He's got to fight the boomerang, bro. Come on, Hammer Brothers. Give that movement of four, man. He needs it. That was a movement of two. That was not a movement of four. He was so in the clear with those movements of four. I cannot believe he's not getting it. He needs that point really badly. Last opportunity. Last chance for a movement of four. No, he doesn't get it. I can't believe it. I mean, th th there's only one spot where I, I wouldn't know if he got a movement of four, and that was after he did... Um, it was either 5-4 or 5-5, five, five, but I don't think he got that third movement of four. Meanwhile, Zone just cleared up points. And neither runner... Oh, Narfman actually lost Fire Flower. That's right. He lost his Fire Flower in 5-5, five, five, so he gets deducted a point. Good thing, good thing. You always got to look over the points. You always got to look over the points. I bet chat was screaming that one at me. I, I, didn't, get a, I didn't get a chance to look at chat, but... I bet they were telling me. Oh man, that is... Oh man, that World 5 might have lost the tournament for him. That World 5 might have... Oh, man, there's there's not... Oof. Oof. That's, that's what I have to say. Oof. 
All right, zone coming up on world six, Narkman. Hey, miracles. Oh, and the damage there. Good thing he's already taken damage. He can't lose any more points. That's not so bad, but but I see what he was trying to do there. He's trying to go for the fire kill, save a little bit of time, right? He knows he's behind by a little bit. He's trying to bring it back. All right, zone. One high, one low, has the leaf, wall jump, floor clip. Um, zone, neither zone or Narfman have gotten the inventory star, so that's good. Ooh, that movement of four is bad. That is not what you want to see because it switches uh, it switches around like how you fight the Hammer Brother. That was that was scary, man. That was scary. Wow, zone with the big jump again. That is a very tough jump to go over the blocks, man. That's a tough one. So Narfman isn't that far behind. I mean, if if zone does that eight one death again, then uh, that could, that's definitely something. Ooh, Narfman with the star here. He does get a low pattern. Oh wait, what did what did Zone get? Did he get low or high? Yeah, did he get low or high? I don't know. I know Narfman just got low. I think Zone got high, didn't he? Yeah, Zone got high. I'll check back with chat in a bit. But Zone Zone got high. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, come on, guys. Oh, Narfman with the big jump too! Congratulations, man. That's sick, dude. Nice Narf. All right, here we go. This is where things start to pick up. This is where things start to pick up in World 6. High, low, leaf grab. Now, there's the P-Wing. Zone got high, Narfman got low. Very nice, despawn strat, much better than last time. The zone is doing much better in race two. All right, not bad. Ooh, zone gets lucky, does he get? Low pattern, he does get low pattern. Holy crap, zone is just, oh, whoops, wrong, wrong runner, wrong runner. Zone just is sweeping up the points. He has the same amount of points now as he did Last race, that just goes to show how much more he's doing. Oh, Narfman takes the damage. It's just adding and adding for Narfman. Unfortunately, just one thing after another. Uh, he can't catch a break right now. He cannot catch a break. <laughs> he tried to go for the clip, nice. Hey man, it, I think you could get it with the leaf like that. As long as he doesn't take that random damage here. Yeah, there you go. Sometimes you can get hit by the the Chucker, I don't know what their names are. The the Buster Beetle, I think. All right, gonna use a star here. Oh, Zone! <laughs> Zone forgot to use his leaf! He forgot! That is why that point exists. That is hilarious! He forgot to use the leaf! Yes! I'm so glad that point exists. Oh, uh, Narfman got too low pattern, so he's not gonna be able to get it. He needed to get the high pattern. Unless he fights the extra bro here, which he's gonna have to make a choice. Zone does not get the wall jump. What? Oh, what happened, Narf? He did the wrong level. Oh no! Oh no! Narf man. He, 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 he didn't want to get the, the inventory star. He wanted the point. Oh, Zone taking the damage there. But Zone does get the wall jump, though. He did not get a first try. Ooh, he went for the clip. Nice try, nice try. I like to see runners trying for it. I think after everyone seeing how much Ibuba won last season due just to that clip, really showed people how important it was. It's a pretty big clip. Unfortunately, this is a very long auto scroller for Narfman. Um, but he's doing what he thinks he had to do, right? It's not his fault. All right, Zone getting out of this world. Zone is clear of world six. Let's see what else. Zone did not get any of these, but Zone also, he did not get no inventory stars. So that's good. He got it from worlds three to six. 
No inventory stars. Um, he had the leaf. He could have got this point, but he frigged it up. He frigged it up. He frigged it up. All right, so Narfman is in the clear. Narfman also no inventory star in World 6. Narfman can get the wall jump, but he doesn't have the leaf, unfortunately. He doesn't have the leaf from World 1, so he can't get that point, but he can get floor clip and wall jump. All right. Ooh, zone with the uh, with the silly wall jump there with the meme clip. Very nice. Take a little drink of water. We have time. So the Twitch, it's all, I think it's the Twitch players. I think the Twitch players are doing that silly little catch up thing where like Twitch lags and then it, it tries to compensate for the, um, the delay. Um, so that's unfortunately, that's something we can't avoid. All right, come on, Narf. Wall jump first try. Ah, oh, he needed it. Oh, and he gets a second try. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. He doesn't have the lead, but he still can get the floor clip. Um. Yeah, see, it does. It's, yeah, so it's the Twitch players. It's because I got them both open, I guess. Uh, we didn't have this problem last season, but last last season I don't think we had that silly thing that Twitch does now, where like fast forwards and it's try it tries to keep everything perfect. Zone gets seven one first try. That is fantastic. Ooh, Narfman does not get the clip either. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with the internet. Then we might be using too much internet. I don't think so, though. Well, both of us are, are here, right? All right, zone getting the P-Speed. Narfman is getting out of World 6. He's probably relieved. He wants, he wants out of that world. He's done. He's done with World 6. All right, um, so he got lows, he got low patterns, he didn't have the leaf, he didn't get wall jump, no floor clip, but he did skip inventory star, so that's pretty good. Now we move on to world seven. Zone got seven one first try. He hasn't bumped on the overworld map yet, which is good. But what he needs to do is make sure he does not mess up this level. If he messes up this level, he might get less, he, get, he might get two, ooh, that was a big turn back. All right. Let's hope he doesn't get 292. Whew, he's in the clear. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Nice, very nice. No bumps on the overworld map, and this is the patented trick, man. I think, I think a lot of people are gonna be using this P-Wing uh, strategy in the pipes. I really think a lot of people are gonna be using it. No overall bumps yet, Zone. Oh, Zone doesn't get, oh, he might. No, he's not gonna be able to get that point, unfortunate. Tough stuff, tough stuff. All right, he's gonna go for first try, seven, six clip. He didn't get 283, unfortunately. No 283, but he could, could get first try. Oh, dang it. Now, is he gonna get stuck like Narfman did last time? Narfman was stuck here, oh, no, he's not. He's gonna get, what was that, fourth try? Very nice. All right, Narfman is gonna bring it back, man. He's gonna get no hands. He's gonna get all the points from seven to eight. Zone's gonna die six times. Come on, Narfman, you got this. First try, you got first try last time. Ah, oh, he let go of duck. Let go of duck. 
Oh, zone. Oof. Zone taking damage there. Ooh, he takes damage again. He's gonna have to. Oh! <laughs> zone with the death! Dude, he is. Those deaths, man. Is this where the, the six deaths start? He's got to do this as small Mario. This is very scary. This is very rough. Oh, he got the despawn. That's good. Go! Go! Despawn helps! Nice. Narf man getting the clip and not having to worry about it, man. The clips are not nice to him. He doesn't have a star. So what he can do is grab the fire flower and go back. Oh, he's going to go... Ah, I see, I see. Okay, so he, he wants to keep the fire flower. Nice. Gonna get rid of this guy. Very nice. I still think that was faster than going down with the music note, double pipe transition, the works. Alright, Zone, I cannot believe Zone is going for the clips in this level. That is a, a surprise to me. I guess he, fi I guess he figures... Even if the clips take long, as as long as he doesn't do the fortress, because the fortress is very scary. The fortress. He's stuck right here, though. He has to get the clip. He can't do anything else. If he gets the clip here, he has an opportunity to get out of the clip game. But let's see. Oh, this is... With that death and the clips, he might think he's losing or behind. He's still not opting out for the clips. 293 on Narf Man, very nice. All right, Zone is almost done with the clips. Zone has not bumped. Narf Man so far has not bumped. Narf Man has not bumped. I'd be told if Narf Man bumped, he has not bumped just yet. All right, I was gonna go for this point. Zone did not get this point, so this is good. Oh, he does not get it. And Zone did not bump. Very nice Zone. Uh, he did not get 6-1 first try. He didn't get the P-Wing. And he didn't get the Punishment. Very nice. All right, Narf Man. Redemption. Get this point, dude. Get this point. Come on. Come on. Get this point. You got this. Oh, he jumped. I think I feel. Oh, he got a second try though. Dang it, man. Dang it. He does not get it. Sadly, Narfman has not got a point since duck jumps. The three six inventory. That's about it. You hate to see it. All right. He has not bumped yet, so that's gonna be his point, right? That's his baby. Okay. He's gonna use a P wing in this level. Nice, he's safe. Is he gonna go for hammer suit? Oh no. Yeah, this is a waiter. Yeah, nice. Oh no. He's gonna shoot twice, go! You're free! One, two, he always shoots twice. He's getting double fired here. Oh my gosh, dude, that was way too intense. That's so scary. He got it though, he didn't die. He's gonna cloud here, he's got no star, but that's fine. He's gonna get this star though. Unfortunately, he's not gonna be able to do the damage boost. Ooh, I, would, I would hate to see Zone take a take a plunder there. Oh, nice, dude! That's that's a very nice safety strat on uh, Narfman's side. I love to see that. I love to see like I, there, there's something that I do if I was Small Mario there, but that's not that's not quite the same. So it's really interesting to see a difference there. Um, I don't, guys. I don't know. I don't think Narfman is gonna be able to bring this one back, guys. He did not get bumps on the overworld map. He might have, but I don't think so. I'd be told. You guys would let me know. All right. All right. We are in auto scroller land. So let me... I have not been able to talk with chat yet. Um, so I'm going to open up chat here. How are you guys doing? Oh, Narfman did bump. He bumped right before the four. Take that point away. All right. 
All right, how's how's it going, chat? How are you guys doing? Are you guys enjoying the races? Uh, bumping is messing up your overworld map movement. All right, I noticed, you guys. You guys having fun? Uh, I hope this. I hope season three is living up to um, its expe expectations. Hope you guys are enjoying it just as much. Hope you guys are having a good time. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the commentary, because yeah, just as long as you guys are having a fun time. Hopefully, hopefully the mods are keeping up with some uh, really cool predictions, keeping you guys uh, engaged a lot without, because I can't really interact with you guys all that much. So I hope you guys have lots to do. Hope you guys are keeping busy. And uh, yeah, don't forget to type exclamation um, tournament, guys. If you type exclamation tournament, you guys can keep up with the the scheduling of the races, when they're going to be and what time in Eastern. You can keep up with the challenge page with the brackets so you know who's won, who's lost, who's who's left the race. Um, you guys can also download the trackers for yourself. Uh, then you can play around with the tracker, maybe do your own points races, or also um, just uh, calculate the points while you're watching the other runners. And the last thing that you guys can keep up with is uh, the name of all the points, what they do, and all that stuff. Yo, Nassal, thank you very much for the five gift subs. Let's go. Thank you very much for the support, guys. Support for the tournament, man. Let's keep these going. There is a cash prize of $1,000. There's $1,500 in cash prize um, for first, second, and third. Uh, all funded by me and created and hosted by me as well. So there's a lot, a lot of work that goes into this. Very, but it's worth it, man. This is so much fun. All right, Narfman makes it out of world eight. Unfortunately, I don't think if Zone got all three hands and Narfman didn't, I don't think that's enough time for Narfman to catch up. Yes, it does look like, like if I give, I give Narfman second place here. Zone with first. Zone died though, that's crazy. Oh, damn! Oh, damn, so it looks like Zone has used his lifeline. Wow, Zone thinks he's really far behind, I guess. So Zone used his lifeline. Both runners used their lifelines. Crazy, okay. So Zone doesn't know, Zone doesn't know this, but he is going to win and advance in the tournament. Um, I don't think, well, we'll see, we'll see. Who knows, anything can go. Ooh, hand two. Ooh. All right. So one hand, man, that's pretty good. One hand. One hand for zone. Narf man, ooh, no, no Wrangless, unfortunately. No point for Wrangless. Zone is all over the place right now, slipping and sliding everywhere. Uh hopefully, hopefully he can get hopefully he can get control of it. Hopefully he can get control here. Uh, we will continue on with uh, some world record attempts, guys, uh, after these races, just to let you know, in case you guys were wondering. Uh, we will continue on my normal stream with some world record attempts and try and not have all of my records beaten. Warpless is next, and if these runners keep going the way that they're going, they will, in fact, people are going to start taking my Warpless run too, and then I'll have none left. That's right. That's right. Ooh, zone with the bump, going with the star. All right, don't 
perish in this level zone. You know what that means. You got this. Nice! He got it! Oof, almost took damage. He did a turn back! He gets the 290, though. Gets the 290. Okay, okay. Now he's got to get the 291. He's got to get 291 or higher here. Narfman making his way to the hands, too. Nice, sun kill. Nice. It's the jump. And he's got it. 292, he's got it. Right on, there you go, he gets another point there. Narfman's turn, let's go Narfman, no hands. Oh, Narfman with the no hands. What a waste. He's gotta, he's gotta be saying to himself, that is so lame. He's gotta be saying that. He's he definitely, I also agree with the lameness on that one. Does zone get early P-Speed? Zone does get conveyor P-Speed. Double down on the points right there. Zone has one job now, guys. Make it to Bowser. He's got one job. Don't let go of that down input. He's got one job, right? He's got one job. Beat Bowser from here on out. Get rid of that Borzer, man. All right, he's got the last auto scroller. Narfman can still secure conveyor P speed and 289 to 91 points. All right, let's go, Narfman. You got this. Two ninety, two ninety. He knows. He knows. He knows the game's screwing with him, so he's he's gonna play perfectly all the way until Bowser. He's not gonna make a single mistake. All right, Zone is on a very easy auto scroller. Not a whole lot going on his side right now. Oh, oh, that was so close to the sun, but he gets it, man. He does get it. Hey, getting some points. Ooh, zone. That was way too close, dude. Oh, wow. Narfman with that crazy jump, dude. Does it? Oh, he almost died there. Does he get early conveyor? Oh, he does not get early conveyor. Peace speed. All right, zone. Bring it home. He's got one job. Close, gets the one-up clip, nice. It's like a mystery if they get the clip or not. We don't know for sure. Oh no, he didn't get the P-Speed. This could be, come on zone. There we go, nice, very nice. That's very scary. Neither runner is going to secure the sub 54. So the points will be the same. Second versus first. Throne jumps. They did not get all the throne jumps. Coin ships, fanfare, spade game. Looks pretty good. A 54 53. Congratulations. So with that, it looks like Zone is going to advance into the next round. He has a total of what? 18 plus 14 points, guys. Don't worry, I can unrelease chat. Let's go ahead and put Narfman's audio on. We'll get some Narfman audio going here. Dude, guys, give it up to both runners. Narfman's not done yet, but he is going to be able to finish very, very shortly. Um, and yeah, zone definitely did much better uh, for race two.
Right on, Narfman just needs to clutch out this Bowser kill. He does not lose a point for over 60, thank goodness. Nice, he just wants to get it done, he wants to finish it. Very nice. Gets the throne room. What did I tell you, man? He barely made any mistakes in, in World 8. And I had to go and open my big mouth. Well, at least he gets more screen time. I spoke too soon. The commentator's curse. That's right. Spoke too soon. The commentator's curse, guys. <laughs> Mitch, please. It wasn't my fault. I swear. I swears it. GG to Narf, man, guys. Go ahead and give GGs to both runners, guys. Both runners put on a good show. This is the first race of the season. The first match. I think everyone did a great job. 57-31 for Narf, man. Right on. Both use Lifeline. Eighteen zone. Narf ten. Very unfortunate. Holy crap, guys! That was insane. I that makes me very excited for the future the future races, man. Uh, let's see, 18, so what do you have, Thir 42 or 32? 28, yeah, 32. And Narfman, 25. There you go, very nice. Very nice, dude. So the reason it's 18 is they use the lifeline. Damn, pretty crazy for these runners, man. GG's to all the runners and thank you guys all for the support and everything during the tournament. I very, very much appreciate it. You guys are fantastic. Yes, during this tournament, during this tournament, the support that goes to me goes towards a season four. Um, so normally all the support that I get during the tournament goes directly to, to help fund a season four because a lot of people really like this and we want it, we want more and more seasons all the time. We want constant seasons. I try and do about two a year, get two set up a year, which is pretty fun. Um, but yeah, that concludes that concludes race one, match one, first day, season three, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the show, and we are going to continue on my normal stream setup for world record attempts for any percent no wrong warp. So if you guys want to see world record attempts, you know where to find me.